The ruling national resistance movement in Uganda, which is the leading party, has finally broke the silence by responding to a parliamentary resolution of the Kenyan parliament, moved by the opposition of parliament, disputing and critiquing the outcomes of the Ugandan election that saw President Yoram Museveni being declared as the winner of the 2016 presidential polls in Uganda. Now, therefore, candidate Yoweri Kaguta Museven, who has obtained the highest number of votes in the election and the votes cast in his half favor, being more than 50% of the valid votes cast at the election, the Commission declares Yoweri Kaguta Museven elected president of the Republic of Uganda at the presidential election held on 18th February. 2016. The petition was moved by none other than Professor Anyang Nyong, who said that the Ugandan election were a sham election ever held in the history of Uganda's electoral process. But talking to journalists here at the party secretariat of the ruling NREM in Uganda, the secretary general of the ruling NREM, that is Justin Kasule Lumumba, said that Kenya does not have the moral authority to critique Uganda's election. She says that the past experience of Kenya has seen that Kenya holds violent elections. A case in point, the 2007 post-election violence in Kenya says was a litmus paper to show that Kenya has always held violent and sham elections. It would have been somebody else to comment about our elections, but not Kenya, where they've really had a lot of bloodshed when it comes to issues of, of, uh, of uh, post-elections. Also, Kasule Lumumba did uh, hit back to uh, Professor Nyang Nyong, who is the Secretary General of uh, the Opposition in Kenya, saying that he had also no more authority to speak about uh, results of the Ugandan election because she says that uh, Nyang Nyong and his party they have never won an election in Kenya. So critiking the outcomes of the Uganda's 2016 presidential polls would be very unfair on the Kenyan opposition side. He's even a secretary general of a party that has never won. If he's an expert of elections, he should do, uh, apply that skill and expertise to win elections in Kenya then he can always advise us as NRM. And we shall also look at him as an expert. As to whether these remarks by the Secretary General of the ruling uh, NRM in Uganda would cause a diplomatic impasse between Uganda and Kenya, time will only tell. Timothy Sibasi, the BS Television, here at the NRM Secretariat in the capital, Kampala.